name is Martin, welcome back to another video. I'm here just on the Manchester Ship Canal down by Barton Lock. Now, for this video, you don't really associate ferries with Manchester because we're kind of like an inland city. But about just over 100 years ago, we pulled off a stunt in Manchester. Some brilliant engineers pulled off a stunt and we brought the sea into Manchester. And that was the Manchester Ship Canal, as you know. And it utilises a lot of the uh, sort of made the River Irwell navigable, but there are bits that spur off and we'll be showing you those in a bit. But here, Barton Lock, fantastic. Now, we've also got a guest with us today. Someone who some of you may not know, but is an old friend of the channel. Lewis. Lewis from the YouTube channel Ringway Manchester. Afternoon, Martin. Afternoon. Now, some of you may not know him, but way, way back when I first started YouTube, Lewis was a big YouTuber that reached out to me as a little YouTuber and I reached up and we did a collab, didn't we? Yeah, I think at the time I had about a thousand subscribers, if you remember. Yeah, and I probably had about, <laughs> YouTuber. I think I had about 150 or something like that. And I was like, wow, thousand subscribers. Anyway, did my first collab with Lewis and we did a bit of a video around Manchester, didn't we? Yeah, we, we did, yeah. We've never worked together since, have we? No, we haven't. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we've always, always been still friends. We've been, we've been good friends since that. No, we've done another video. We did the Q&A, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We've done ask a us anything, things. guys. We did an ask us anything, guys, back in the early days, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, and when nobody we... asked anything. <laughs> <laughs> when we thought people wanted to actually ask us things. Yeah. Anyway, without further ado, we're going up the ship canal to look at the Humes Ferry. And uh, I think Lewis is going to actually up for us later so we're going up to look at Hume's Ferry and I'll tell you all about it Pull the bolt to board you. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. 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 Now that over there is the old the route of the old route of the uh, Irwell. They're going that way. So as you can see, would have come down here and then meandered over there. <laughs> Okay, so where are we this week? Well, we're just to the west of Manchester city centre on the Manchester Ship Canal and we're in a place called Flixton, not far from Davy Hume and Ermston, just on that western side of Manchester. And we're here just by the Ship Canal and you can see some interesting things. You can see the old course of the Irwell there. And if we go up the Ship Canal, you can see an old dock there, disused dock. And this is Barton Locks. And this is an old friend as well. So we'll be checking all those things out. But we're checking out one of Manchester's lesser known ferries that just goes across this way here. So let's crack on. Okay, so as you know from the title of what I've already said, it's called Hume's Ferry. Uh, and it just goes across from one side of the ship canal to the other in this kind of uh, circular motion here. Um, so why is there a ferry here on the ship canal? Well, it's been running many, many, many years, probably since the ship canal opened. When they originally got the Act of Parliament to build the Manchester Ship Canal, they had to straighten out the River Irwell and vast swathes of land were reorganised and everything. Um, and they had to honour pathways and they had to demolish bridges. And what they had to do at this point here was demolish a bridge that was too low down and too small for um, the big ships to get underneath it or get past it. But they had to honour the public right of way. So they were bound, the Ship Canal Company and the various people that have come along after that run the Ship Canal were bound to run a ferry service to honour the public right of way across the Ship Canal at this point. Yeah. 
Okay, so while I was looking for information on this subject, I came across this picture, which is called Hume's Bridge, or Holmes Bridge, as it may have been known. Now, I'm not 100% sure that this was the bridge that got demolished. Maybe some local people will know better than me. But this is the best I can come up with for the bridge that was demolished to make way for the wider Manchester Ship Canal and why the ferry service is in operation. That might need some more research, so I think it's right. It's a very old picture if that's the case. Now I have to admit to you, once you've made the crossing over to the other side, the north side of the Manchester Ship Canal, there's not a great deal to see. The path kind of goes this way and takes you up to the main road up here. So if you live over on this side, north side of the Manchester Ship Canal and you've been visiting here, obviously it's great, but uh, there's not a great deal to see. We wanted to go here and take a walk down the, uh, down the Ship Canal and go up to... Um, Barton Locks, which is up here, just up here. Uh, but unfortunately, this path here, or what appeared to be a path, was impenetrable. But I don't want to put you off because it's well worth making this crossing and using this little ferry service because it is fantastic. However, what you can do is you can look at this, which is the old course of the River Irwell before they straightened it out and made it into the Manchester Ship Canal. Now, as always, we're going to go to the old maps. This map is, um, I think, 1892, um, 1892 to 1914, but it's showing the old course of the Irwell, and this is where we are. There's our Humes Bridge ferry. So it's a ferry then, the Humes Bridge is gone, um, and you can see the old course of the Irwell. Now, on if I just look on Google Earth, it, it peters out here nowadays, but you can see it used to run on much further down here which is quite interesting. But you can, uh, if you go on the ferry, you can take a look at the old, this old part of the, the River Irwell, which is what we're going to do now. Now, interesting, that old course of the uh, River Irwell. Uh, so what I'll try and get Lewis to do in a minute is take off from here and just see if we can see the old course of the Irwell. You can see it on Google Maps, but uh, we'll see if we can see it from this area here. There you go, there it is, you can just see it from the drone there to the right, the old course of the Irwell. And what we're going to do is going to go in that old metal bridge there now and take a closer look. Interesting. So obviously back in the day, I think I can't remember the dates when the ship canal were built, but obviously the Irwell as it does, it used to meander and it meandered along this plain when they built the ship canal and they turned the Irwell, made the Irwell navigable, made it into the ship canal, they obviously straightened it out. So you've got these little bits of uh, off spurs and oxbow lakes that used to be uh, the old course of the Irwell. We've got a bit of a, a bit of pipe down there. Look at that, wow. So just while we take a break from uh, Hume's Ferry, uh, Lewis is brewing up for brew time. I feel like I'm just being used to brew up today. You are being used. Is this the only reason I'm here? You said you were going to bring cakes. <laughs> yeah. Some bishop's could... fingers. <laughs> bishop's fingers, yeah. I would ask you what the tea bags are, but the mine. Sorry about his sunglasses and that. The room, <laughs> the Cornish tea. All right, I've never yeah. heard of it. Just as Lewis is pouring the uh, the, the uh, water there. When I met him, I thought um, 
I thought, oh, there's, a, there's an hairdresser here going to cross on the ferry. Uh, and it turns out... <laughs> Turns out it was him in some fancy hairdresser's car <laughs> with this all going on and the sunglasses. I thought, oh, I could get a short back and sides while I'm here, to be honest with you. Anyway, what I'm going to do while we're here, we're just back at Barton Dock having a brew. Do you remember when we did the video about um, Worsley Brook? I pictured a Well, the Worsley Brook meanders its way all the way down here to Barton, and by now at this point it's called the Saltai Brook, and it just empties here uh, into the uh, Ship Canal. So I'm going to show you the Worsley Brook or the Saltai Brook. There you go. That's what it's like now. A couple of swans over there. It goes underneath. Uh, goes, goes underneath here, and it obviously goes underneath this here and it comes out down below here now i can't get through because you can see it's all undergrowth and everything but what i can do i can get you a shot from over there on the little jetty type thing there the pier and i'll get you a shot of where it comes out it all ties in together you see this brew better be good is it still brewing no it's about to oh you've took the tea bag out no, it's perfect okay so this is where we stood having our brew uh, and I'm looking at this and saying, oh look, this is the old, this is the uh, Saltai Brook, um, but it's actually the old course of the Irwell. Um, so if you go to the old maps, you see there, that's where we are, and there's the old course of the Irwell. Just zoom in for you there. Uh, River Irwell, old course. So it looks like the Saltai used to meet it. Is the Saltai Brook, which is our Worsley Brook, which has meandered all the way down from Worsley, used to meet it round about here somewhere. And this, what I'm calling the Saltai Brook, is actually the old course of the Irwell. And of course, that's where uh, the Saltai Brook now meets the Ship Canal, but it utilises this. And it used to meet it much further up. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you may, may have noticed that the Saltai Brook is now here. So it looks like it's possibly been diverted because it, it sort of met the Irwell here originally i think and then there's like a why would you divert it that's interesting that isn't it? it goes that way must be a diversion because if you look here where this goes into a culvert now and comes down here there's a little concrete outflow there um and that obviously is, is modern so possible diversion of it mm, that's interesting isn't it anyway uh, just while we're here i want to draw your attention to uh this old dock here you can see it there, this old dock, and I think I think it's now redundant. But if you look here, this is Sewage Treatment Works. This is David Hume Sewage Treatment Works. And uh, <clears throat> when I used to visit friends over in David Hume, there were times it absolutely stunk. It was really bad. And it's a shame because David Hume's a lovely area. I don't know if it still stinks or not. But as far as I'm aware, they used to pump the sludge to here and load ships with it. And then the ships went down and then dumped it somewhere, possibly in the Irish Sea. I'm not quite sure. There's a whole story. It was called the night soil, and there's a whole story to this. Mm, not looking right. It's going to be a good brew taste. I think what you've done is you've done the classic cheat, which is to not put a lot of milk in to make it look strong. No, no, it's really strong. That bag got really squeezed out. To, to make it look strong. No, it's it going to be perfect. Is. Taste it. Spot on, isn't it? That? Shocking. <laughs> Bit more milk to try and salvage that. You've ruined it. That's just a cup of milk. Well, really. I know it's not though, is what it? What is it, Horlicks? You have made it strong, to be honest with you. Yeah, exactly. It was perfect. And so, on to Barton Locks, which looks like it should be much more busier than what it actually was. It was a kind of a ghost town, really.
Now, one thing I really like about this ferry is that when the guy's on the other side, when you approach from the, uh, which, where we're now, we're on the north side, aren't we? Yeah. And the guy sort of like moors up on the south side of the ship canal. When you approach from the north, he needs to come over. You ring a bell. Yeah, which it's is, quaint, uh, isn't it? <laughs> it's very quaint and it's very old fashioned. Yeah. And I like that, it's really good. And I hope this thing stays forever, don't you? Yeah. You yeah, you wouldn't think Manchester, you won't associate Manchester with ferries, do you? A quaint little ferry. It's something you'd find in like a rural area where there's yeah. no one around. Yeah. He, he did say sometimes you, you can sit there for five hours and there's no one, and then other times it's. It's got, it gets busy. Yeah. Right, so let's uh, ring that bell. I'm stomach in. And this is Alan, our ferryman. Thank you very much, Alan. It's all right. It's um, all part of the service. Brilliant, yeah. Um, ringing that bell. <laughs> Fantastic, that, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it's quaint. It is. Yeah. When we say that, it's quaint, yeah? yeah. Um, so, how many times a day? I mean, it, it, there's no timetable, is there? You there just isn't run... a set timetable when the boat runs. Yeah. Uh, I basically, I'll, I'll, pass, I'll take people across. Yeah. On arrival, you know? Right. Yeah. If they arrive and want to go across, I'll hear. There's no set time. Any time between midday and five o'clock, right. I will ferry passengers back to the boat. And that's Friday, what day is your From break? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Right, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. From and then does that, is that year round or? No, no, that is just during sort of what you'd say is the summer months. Right. We'll open early spring. Yep. And it can be unsafe during the winter. High winds. Really? And, yeah. Really? The water gets bit choppy and right. you know if it's really strong winds and things they'll blow the boat around it well, gets, yeah. Yeah. and then the boat, boat, boat goes up for maintenance does it during the during winter? the winter yeah it goes to our dry dock down at Salford Keys right the boat can be serviced maintained get a nice fresh coat of paint mm -hmm. ready for the following season and your motto is, for this service is use it use it or lose it use it or lose it so Hume's Ferry Get yourself down here, dead easy to come down. Come at the right time, you open at 12 here. I open at midday. midday. The ferry service, this one, has been here for 130 years. Wow. Not me personally, I know I look like <laughs> I have, but the service has been here for 130 years. We'd like to keep it here. And as a, as I've, I was looking up, it's because there used to be a bridge here, didn't there, before, uh, before well, the ship canal? As the ships got bigger, the bridge became unviable. Yeah. We couldn't get big ships under the bridge, so yeah. the bridge had to go. And this uh, this is now the, the right of way, the right of it's passage. It's a public right of way, yes. Yeah. So, use it or lose it, Hume's Ferry, get yourself down here, bring the kids down. And then when you get on the other side, you can have a bit of a walk, and or you can, I think you can take a look at the old course of the Irwell there. Yes. On this side, there's a nice beer garden just around Is the there? corner there. The What's Fox. the pub called? The Fox. The Fox. The Fox. Thanks very much, Alan, for right. speaking to us. Now, if you want to use the ferry yourself, and I highly recommend it, because if you park in this little car park here, there's a little nature reserve here. Um, and you can take the ferry and you can look at the old course of the Irwell. So it's a nice way to spend a pleasant afternoon because don't forget the ferry doesn't start till well midday. You need to come through Davy Hume and Ernston, so it's not far from the Trafford Centre. Come down here, um, let's have a look, Davy Hume Road, uh, and then you just go up Eddisbury Avenue round here and you can park there. And this car park is for the uh, nature reserve here. And then you'll see the path down to Hume's Ferry. The postcode for your sat navs is M30 OEY. So it's M300EY. Yeah, so by all means, go down, take a, take a look at Hume's Ferry, cross over, ring the bell when you've looked at the old course of the Irwell and come across the other side and you can say hello to Alan. There you go, how good was that? Brilliant, yeah. Proper quirky little service that you wouldn't expect to still be going, or even in Manchester, you no, talk about ferries in Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say we got our money's with today, but it's free as well, so. Free, yeah. all free. Yeah, so get yourself down, bring the kids down, they can have a ride across. There's another one, isn't there, at Fellwall? Yeah, which that needs another day out. I think that needs another day out, we need to go and do that one. Should have put it in one of my little, uh, like five interesting Manchester's things, really. hidden gem, that's yeah. a proper hidden gem. It's a proper hidden yeah. gem, that, yeah. Anyway. 
Lewis, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. For all this Thanks time. Thanks for having me, yeah. Where have you been? Yeah. You know, got a bit funny, I think, you, at one point. You didn't want to speak to me anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. You reached 100k and stopped messaging, but you know, it happens. <laughs> I've heard that happens to YouTubers, so. <laughs> You've had people, you know, when that video went, went viral, that, that trap door. Well, there were certain people that were waiting for me to change. Yeah. And I, I never, was, I remember. Did. I kept mentioning it. Oh, you did, yeah. Kept bringing it up all the time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you did. Anyway, thanks very much for watching Manchester's Hidden Gem. Lewis, your channel? Ringway Manchester. Ringway Manchester. He's about 100,000 now. about 100,000, yeah, not yeah. far off now. Lovely. Yeah. Right, thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye for now. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, what I'm going to do in the first comment, I'll pin links to Lewis's channel, to the Worsley Brook video, and Lewis also did, it's my favourite video that Lewis ever did. And it was about communications between, because Lewis is all about radio communications, but it was communications between a big ship and some tugboats. And it was like a documentary style, and I love the way he filmed it and what he did and everything. So I'm going to put, put a link to that video uh, in the first comment as well. So there you go. Take care, and I shall see you very soon.